Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Vlogmas week two. So I am very excited because I am currently getting ready to go to the streamies with Benefit Cosmetics. I've never been to the streamies before and I got asked really last minute and I'm just like so excited to go. I don't know, I've never been. It's always been a goal of mine to like go to it. I don't have much time to like sit here and chat. So I think I'm gonna be getting ready in, in quiet. <laughs> I also just realized I'm missing a, an effing fingernail. I'm not gonna have time to really do much with it. So let's pray to God that this works. <laughs> oh my God, it does not work. Code red. Code red. I literally sat down to take a 10 minute nap and then it turned into an hour. So that's my own, that's my own problem. Of course, we got to slay with our Benefit brows. I love this 24 hour brow setter. It works so well with my curly ass eyebrows. My skin has been so incredibly dry lately. I just at any time it, the winter months approach, it's like, <sighs> I think I'm gonna use the new Lunar Beauty palette. This is the 12 day advent calendar. And I'm just gonna do like the quickest slay of my life. Riley's also coming with me to the event. So I'm excited about that because Riley and I haven't been to an event together in a while because we've been fostering the puppies and they're all with their forever homes. So it just, it makes me so happy. Like I absolutely loved fostering and I think Riley and I will definitely do it again. Pop on a little lash here. Foundation lately, I've been loving the Makeup Forever HD Skin. It just is so hydrating. I feel like I should probably just do a nude lip. All right, I think we're gonna go with this Tarte Maracuja. Oh, I love the way this looks. Okay, I'm running so late. I need to literally go get dressed and get ready to get the hell out of here. Look at how awesome this is. Benefit's got their whole setup with disco balls. So cool. Here I am. Oh, I didn't ever give you guys a fit check. So here's a little fit check. My blazer is from H&M and this dress is from Revolve. I had, you see how long it is? I had to wear these crazy, crazy boots because they're the only high platform boots I have that would work with this dress. We got some Benefit Brow Products. two weeks so we really weren't like cleaning very much like I was cleaning up piss and shit don't get me wrong but yeah so we're gonna do a whole house cleaning day so we just finished at the sinus doc I'm healing great but Riley on the other hand he's worse than my cat scan was for my uh my sinus I, surgery I didn't even get in here, but I haven't been able to breathe for probably 12 since you were like 13 like 16 <laughs> forever 20 years i don't know so you're gonna have the surgery in february and i'm so yeah, excited, excited for you they did good today checking everything out yeah so i'm excited i haven't been able to breathe forever so we'll see what now you'll like. be able to breathe and not snore i wake up every like, two hours at night to drink water because because he's a mouth breather i can't breathe through my nose unfortunately so I'm just looking forward to playing some soccer with some air Oh my God, yeah. That'll watch, be so nice. All right, now we're off to Starbucks. So you guys, I totally effed up yesterday and didn't vlog 
anything after we went to Starbucks because I had an out of body experience because the H3H3 H3 podcast shouted me out and I literally was just screaming for multiple hours and I completely forgot that I was vlogging. So roll the clip. Here is H3 shouting me out. Honestly, this was the best thing to like happen to me all year. This uh, donation from Nicole. No, what happened? Six, I met Ian at the streamies last night and I got so excited. The stunt double was hilarious too. Oh wait, why were you there, Nicole? Do you remember meeting Nicole or did a lot of people say hi, Ian? Uh, I think I remember Nicole, yeah. Is Nicole a creator or something? Or were people Oh, love? Nicole is a YouTuber. Oh, hi, Nicole, we love you. Link me to Nicole's um, page because I want to represent yeah, the Fooper Troopers out there. The super famous. Thanks, she's pretty big. Uh, girl who came and said hi to you, uh, Ian. Nicole Concilio. Concilio. Yes, Nicole. Uh, you, she was very nice. And uh, now I remember. Do you remember I, her? Yeah. I don't know if you remembered her enough. She's a I, big fan. I Nicole Concilio. Ian. Nicole comes up to you, big fan of the show, and you don't even remember her face. She talked to the, the impersonator, Ian. That wasn't me. Uh, oh, you had a double, too. Yeah, oh. yeah. That, <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened. <laughs> I remember Nicole. Like three. So, yeah, that was yesterday. And honestly, nothing else really happened. I was just, like, chilling at home cleaning with Riley. But today, I have a really exciting day because I'm actually going to The Voice as Gwen Stefani's guest for her beauty brand. And we get to see The Voice and hang out. Someone from her beauty squad is coming to do my makeup. So I am just gonna get ready now and prep for that. Actually, I'm very new to her beauty brand, so I'm excited to get my makeup done by an artist of hers and see how I like the products. Okay guys, Tony is here. He's doing my makeup for The Voice today using a lot of Give products by Gwen Stefani, so I'm really excited to see what he does. We're using the Rich Girl Palette. Y'all, this is how we're looking. I love the way the glam came out. I am so late. I need to go right now. Ah! Okay, I made it to where I'm supposed to be, and I'm with Herbie. Woo! We got a nice setup here. Nice little spread. What are you grabbing? I'm getting sunshine. <laughs> Ooh. Some oh my god. Love the fruit snacks. day after The Voice and I figured we could do a little recap while I'm getting ready. I just did my brows with the Give brow product, which is so cool. It's so innovative. I've never seen a product like this. I'm getting ready to film some TikTok videos and film, of course, another Italian Moms. The Voice was such a cool opportunity. It was just me and one other beauty influencer, Kirby Johnson, who I absolutely love. And I was like genuinely shook to be invited. You guys know I struggle with imposter syndrome. So sometimes I'm kind of like, wait, do I deserve this? Like, why was I invited? Like, are you sure you guys like me? Which is definitely, you know, something that I'm working on in therapy, but I just feel so honored. Like all of the opportunities I've been getting lately have just been like such a blessing and I owe it all to you guys, truly. <laughs> so I arrived at the NBC studios, which was really cool. Like we went through this gate and like I had security clearance and all this stuff and it was really cool because you saw like behind the scenes of other sets and I've never seen anything like that like I've never been on any set tours here in LA or anything like that so it was really really cool to see TV is just a beast of its own because like a lot of the stuff that like happens behind the scenes you wouldn't even like guess like I don't even know if I'm really allowed to say because I don't want to get in trouble or get anyone mad at me but like definitely things I will just say definitely things are not what they seem if you been to a live taping of a show then you probably already know but it's just like you know you have to clap they ask you to laugh they'll be like come on more laughs more laughs more more clapping more this more that so it's like 
you kind of have like an actual job as an audience member. It's really cool. And everyone was singing so well. Like I was, I was like, oh my God, like I want to be singing. But then I'm like, wait, you have a cyst. Or actually I don't have a cyst anymore. I have something else, glottic vocal cord dysfunction. But um, yeah, it's super interesting. Hopefully like my singing will be back to normal soon. I've already noticed like such an improvement with my voice in general. I don't wanna mess up the brows. <laughs> I'm like, this requires my utter concentration. It was also really fun getting my makeup done because I haven't had that in such a long time. You know, I usually always do my makeup. We got to see John Legend sing and it was literally incredible. This rare beauty mascara though, bitch. Finish it off with a little Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh no, I'm almost out. No! Let's go do our Italian moms. The nail salon is being set up. We are ready. Are you ready? <laughs> These are nasty. Don't no, so are mine. They need to be fixed immediately. <laughs> I'm buffing out the nails. I filed them really, really low because we're going skiing and I don't want to pop one off. Mine are long. She's got the long, cute, her ones. You guys, here are my nails. I love the way they came out. Alicia, come show yours. Oh, hot damn. Those look so bomb. So bomb. Emmy. <laughs> it's officially Friday and I am getting ready for my management's holiday party. And then I have my friend's birthday party later this evening too. So we are just getting ready for a bunch of things here. I've been using this new Gwen Stefani Beauty, the Give Beauty brow pencil. It is so cool. Look at the way it's shaped. My skin's been a little bit off. So I'm using the Tower 28. This is the SOS spray. It's amazing if you have sensitive skin. And then I'm also following it up with my tried and true, my Tatcha Indigo. Love this product so much. I can't say enough good things about it. It's incredible. I literally threatened one of the CEOs of Tatcha. I was like, if you ever discontinue this, I will hurt someone. That's how much I love this product. This year, Christmas feels super different for me. Like, I honestly feel like I don't wanna be bothered by anyone. I don't know how to explain it. I'm really on my, like, I just wanna be left alone era. I don't know. I feel like sometimes the holidays can be such a hassle with like pleasing everybody, making everybody happy. Like, you know, trying to see people that are important to you. Like, it's just, honestly, sometimes it feels more like a job than anything. And I don't know, like it's, oh, oh, oh. I just, I don't know, a lot of things have been put into perspective with me lately and I don't know, like I'm not trying to sound like a Grinch or anything, but like also like just all the gifts and the presents and spending so much money in a recession. Like it's just like, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm just like grateful me and my family said no Christmas gifts this year, especially since, you know, the wedding's coming up. And it's a lot, like even just to mail a package, like I mailed a package to my sister and it was over $120 to mail it to her. I was like, okay. Also figuring out where Riley and I spend the holidays is a task in itself because both of our immediate families are not in California and it's hella expensive to travel and I feel like traveling during the holidays is literally one of the worst things. We're going this year down to my aunt's house in San Diego and I'm actually really, really, really excited for that because I've never spent a Christmas with her or my cousin. So that'll be really nice and a little change of pace this year. Don't have to get on a plane, don't have to drive anywhere. I miss the holidays being a kid. There was like so much more magic in it. You know what I mean? Way less worries, way less people pleasing. In the new year, one of my resolutions is just gonna be to say no more because that's something I still need to learn to do dramatically. Guys, here is the outfit. I've worn this before, so Lizzie McGuire, you're an outfit repeater, but we love that. We love ethically, ethically sourced outfits from my closet. This little handbag from Riley's cousin actually goes perfect. All right, let's go to Beverly Hills.
dessert graveyard. I have a dessert graveyard too. This for me was a 10. Okay, so if it's not a 10, what is it? 7.5. A strong, a strong 7.5. I'll do another bite. Get you another know. bite. Here it goes. Come on, that's gotta be an eight, babe. That's definitely an eight. Okay, thank you. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, we're at party number two. This is my friend Ginger. She's my industry friend, but like turned best friend. I love you. We're at our other best friend's birthday party. I just realized that I did not vlog one part of the party and now I am drunk. It was a great birthday party with my friend Steph and it was so great. I feel like I saw so many people I haven't seen in a very long time. So it was nice to catch up, but uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, we are ready to end week two of the Christmas vlogging. We're ending it with playing Pokemon on our Switches. I love Pokemon so much. I only started playing because of you, actually. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Week two of Vlogmas. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider following, subscribing. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.